that actually was like the first show I did in New York as a choreographer, music, music, and it was um, the history of the American popular song. Well, now that's a big undertaking, and it was Alan J. Lerner wrote it, and he um, wrote the entire script in rhyme. It all rhymed. <coughs> And it started in Storyville, New Orleans, which the birth of jazz and what we consider, you know, Joplin and um, uh, American popular song. And then went to like the 60s, um, early 70s, and Broadway. Well, it's impossible. You know, it's an impossible undertaking. If you did this on a PBS series, it would be, you know, a week of two-hour specials. So to get through a bunch of the 50s uh, classical music, uh, musicals, uh, I designed a ballet for Donna McKechnie. Um, and Wally Harper did the music, and it was an audition ballet, <coughs> strangely enough. And, <laughs> and the idea was she auditioned for, what she auditioned for? She auditioned for, um, I know one of the auditions were, was for Bye Bye Birdie, and she, she, dis she gets a lot of thank yous. I know the one reason I remember the audition for Bye Bye Birdie is then she goes outside and Tommy Walsh, who was in it uh, and did it for me, was sitting down all rejected and she did put on a happy face with Tommy to, you know, and it was because they were both eliminated. And then she auditions for uh, Gypsy or something and then she did Rose's turn and everything was great, you know, everything's coming up roses. Anyway, it was a sweet ballet. 